one guy will run away with the success of the whole team. You better make sure you are the one. Hi, my name is Albert Laszlo Barabashi and I'm a network scientist. For the last 20 years, I've been studying networks and complex systems. Join us and you will learn how to engineer success in your own life. We live in an era where much of the work we do is done in teams. We shot documentaries in teams. We write books with lots of assistance from many other individuals. We need a team to make a scientific discovery and you need big teams to arrive to the moon or to launch a rocket. How do you put your team together to be really successful? There's lots of research on this. When it comes to teams, we again need to distinguish between performance and success. And we need to ask, do we want a high performance team or do we want a successful team? The research shows that if we want a high performance team, we need to put individuals together that can work together very well. A high performance team needs balance. Everybody must have a voice. Everybody has to communicate well with the others. Everyone must push the cart. When it comes to successful teams, however, the pattern is completely different. Successful teams need a leader. They need someone to tell the rest of the team where they will go. There are famous soccer teams who hired the best players and yet they could not win a championship. Duke University once hired the best English professors from all over the world to create the best English department out there and within months it exploded. This is part of the too much talent effect that if you bring all superstars together, they're unable to work together as a team. There's only one problem when we work in teams. Who gets the credit? Who walks away with the credit for the team's success? Is the one who came up with the idea? The one who led the team to success? Or maybe one of the bystanders who made sure to show up at all the meetings but never contributed anything? Once a product is put on the table, it's very difficult to decide who did what in the team to make it successful. We're often told that we have to start working with the big shot because he or she will open doors for us and will push our career forward. But if we stay with that team, the credit will go to our boss. In order to succeed, it's okay to start with a big shot, but you need to break away and build your career up independently so that people will slowly reassign the credit for the joint work to yourself. I tell my students all the time, if you and I write a paper together, it's my paper. Until you go out, and you show to the world that it was your discovery, that you exist and you should get credit for it. The fourth law tells us that why teams need a diverse and balanced membership to have high performance, they also need a leader to succeed. And the credit for the team's work goes to one individual only. You must ensure that you are the one who receives the credit.